<laughs> okay. Welcome back to another Guggen cast. Today we are in the Guggen house. It is uh, an early Monday morning here, and we are going to be doing some unboxing. We've got our cups of coffee rolling, and uh, yeah, we got some mail from you guys. We're going to talk about some, some things that are happening in the bass fishing industry, as well as see what you guys sent us. we got a huge box over there that's really heavy, and I'm excited to open it, so. Oh my God. That's probably going to get wow. cut open and spilled all over. Just, just about sent this coffee on my. my Can you flight. imagine if that just like erupted and we had seed over Was that, is that your laptop, Matt? Yeah. That's oh, fine. That no, it's fine. There's only like four cups of coffee yeah, around it. It's close to dying. You'll be all right. Open it up. Oh, this one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do I have to pretend like I cut it? Because it's already open. Yeah, yeah. Make it, we don't want people to think that we fake this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was easy. Curiosity killed the cat yesterday. Very, very sharp knife. What is in there? Is it? He said it's really heavy. I don't know. Let's cut it open and find out. Yeah, that's let's, let's, let's pour it all out. Yeah, this is actually oh, the heaviest know. package I think anyone's ever sent I think to this us. This is what I invented. Yeah, yeah. Just do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. This is. Uh, what do we have? It's a sack. Uh, it's a. It's a large sack. It's pretty heavy. Large. Pretty heavy sack. Some, some grain or some I don't know. What is, what is it? it? Hit, hit it. Hit it. Mm. Hit it with a knife. Mm. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, it's really uh. Okay. Uh, cleaning okay. coming today. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait, well, what? What? We got to see what's inside. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's in here. Oh. Oh, that's good. At least it's. Double bag. It's double bag. Yeah. We're all right. Let's see. What does it say? Is there a note in there? No, there was actually no note in the box. Maybe there'll be a note in here. It's the, uh, something says Seed Co. Turner? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Turner Seed Co. Deer mix. Deer seeds. So, it's deer. so is there deer in here or is it I for I don't know. Find out. I think it's for growing deer. Mm. Please don't. I would find out. I feel out. like we should I not. I would definitely find out. Right off we know, yeah, I know myself. exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> As fate should have it. I mean, it's, it's just... Uh, I'm honestly surprised. It's a little peak. It's a little peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it look like to me? <laughs> 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 Somebody sent us bird seed. Is it like oats or is it look yeah, like You should open it all seed. up. Like cereal? There it is. Oh, yes. gross. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you Straight do that? Yeah, no good. I think we should Thanks, so. No, seriously, thank you guys for sending us the deer mix. I know it's like trail mix, outside, but for deer. That's actually horrible. I think it's from Turner Seed. So thanks, Turner. Yeah, thanks, Turner Seed. Thanks, uh, for, uh, Turner Seed Co. For girl. the uh, bird feed. All right, what next? Somebody start go. opening. Get a knife. All right, it's like Christmas time. Get a knife and start cooking. That'd actually be good with some honey and maybe some brown sugar. Yeah, just need a little you okay with sharp objects? Yeah, yeah, yeah here we go. Remember you Thank sat you. on one? Yeah. That was a good time. It's caught so my throat. Claire, how, uh, what has been going on in the fishing industry? You know, we mm. started off the podcast by saying we're going to talk about that. Yeah. We're also obviously opening up some mouths. It's one of our favorite things to do. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I I'll let you get into it since you seem to know the most. Since you're the... No, I don't, definitely don't know. I definitely don't know the most about this situation. Don't know a whole lot. <laughs> I was actually in a foreign country when this happened. So, no. So he would be don't know. It. I'm not, not super nice in tune with what's going on. Tactic. But I've, I've read articles. And uh, in general public knowledge, I kind of know what's going on. But essentially, it looks like a, a new group of... Um, you know, anglers and, and people that like fishing got together and started a new league for fishing tournaments and uh, kind of kind of the Justice League, you could call them, the and kind of restructured league. it in a way that's super beneficial for the anglers and uh, not necessarily the organizations. What do we got there, Ricky? Nice. Talk about patriotic there. The Crank Patriot, baits. Rob. Here you go. The Patriot. Got some baits for you. Okay. So we're going to set that right there. Mad Dog Lures. Thank you so much oh. for setting this, Mark. This yeah, stuff is absolutely insane. Whoa. Now you got a crappie. Look at that. Ooh. That's cool. Ooh. Mine kind of looks like a copper. Noice. 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 Got a crappie. What do I get? What do I get? Dirty dog. Ooh. Thanks, Mad Dog. Ooh, I like that. Mad Dirt. Dog. Thanks, homie. Thank you, man. White oh. bass. That's pretty cool. Killer. Um, but as I was saying, so basically they kind of restructured it, made it, made this new league that's super beneficial. It's kind of low cost like to the anglers, high payouts, and uh, yeah. that's actually something that us as a group have talked about for years now is how messed up that the tournament system kind of was since day one. Since any of us had kind of gotten to fishing, it just seemed a little messed up. It seemed like the angler was, you know, not, it wasn't for the angler, you know, it was for the organization. There was just a lot of, <laughs> a lot of junk going on. And we've actually talked about, you know, finding a way to fix it. And luckily, um, you know, some dudes got together, some really awesome guys, started a new league. 
And it uh, sounds like that's the majority of the, the top bass fishermen, um, you know, in the country are going to be fishing that league and hopefully make a bunch of money and, and actually do it the correct way. Go MILF. Yeah. Really stir some, some yeah. things and, up. And in the other leagues, I mean, it looks like they're making adjustments too, which is yeah. good. I mean, it's good for everybody. All yeah. the anglers, everything's beneficial for the anglers. Now everybody's able to actually make a living fishing, which was like super, super hard to do Times before are now. Changing, it's changed. It yeah. The this tides is, are turning. This is cool. This flag was flown uh, for the Guggen Squad on July 23rd, 2018 on a B1 bomber. Wait, really? What? Wait, that's yeah. a B1? Oh, and they sent us the flag. Yeah. <laughs> are you serious? That's one. Here's a flag that was flown for us. We gotta hang that's that the up. actual flag. Well, and then that was really. And then, yeah. And then they sent us the patch for their oh, unit. Oh, that's cool. And then, of course, that's the. Sick. Uh, yeah, bone, bone, 11, bone, bone 11. eleven. That's that's their uh, call sign. Oh, wow. That was a gamble, man. I'd say this is bone eleven. Yeah, yeah wow. cool. You guys, that's, that that's really, really cool. That's really cool. Yeah. You got Captain Very Dylan legendary. Hazard. Yeah, his name's Hazard. That's awesome. Love then that. they got First Lieutenant Flex, Swift, Flex Rabbit, and Hazard, and Swift. No, seriously, and Rabbit. Made up names. Rabbit, mm -hmm. Swift, Flex, Hazard. These are what they call themselves oh, on the. Yes. That makes sense. That's yeah, see, look, there's the flag. There we go. Oh, that's sick. Cool. Well, thank you. There you go, boys. Dude, that's, 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 that's sweet. Here's, here's one I'm kind of interested about, it. contingent to the one that Rob just that's opened cool. up. This one says, uh, Guggencast, the last item is for Parrot. It would be hilarious okay. for Rob to show slash teeth slash put it on <laughs> Parrot for a Guggencast mail episode. Oh, my God. Is, uh -oh. is it this? Are so you talking about this? That's a tourniquet. That's a tourniquet. Okay. <laughs> What's a tourniquet do? A tourniquet uh, stops your blood from flowing. I'm currently oh. stationed. <laughs> I'm currently stationed. In, uh, it's for uh, I can't read that. Like it's cutting limb off. Uh, oh. First Brigade. Oh, bre oh gosh. Oh. In Bahrain. Bahrain. Yeah. And love watching Guggencast and Luggers TV episodes. Also included is uh, is the First Brigade. Uh, oh, his parent. Nice patch. We uh, should stick this on parent. Thought Jared, it'd be cool to, to send a current. Nah, I'll do it though. Oh, I thought it'd be thought it'd be cool to send a currency for you guys. Check it out. Yeah, you also sent the the Bahrainian. Bahrain. That's a Bahrainian. Bahrain. Really? One dinar. Oh, it's a damn dinar. Make nice. it rain in Bahrain. Someone's calling me for making Make it rain. I'm going to answer That's this cool. phone call. You guys ready? Thanks, Mark. Okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm, it's for Rob. I'm, we'll wait until Rob is done with his uh, phone call. How was that? No, oh, you can go back to <laughs> oh, school. I go back to school. Thank you. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Rob, I somebody. Uh, there was no, 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 nothing. But they sent Glock attachments. Probably you. Yeah. I'm guessing that's <laughs> probably that's a Rob thing. Yeah. yeah, I got a Glock too, man. Come on. That's, yeah, a, that's it's an LFG thing. Your, uh, there's two. There's two. One and one. There's two. Okay, Rackley. Yeah. There's two. One and one. Glock 19's right here. Come on. Uh, it's a Glock 26, 27. Oh, well, I don't have one of those. Oh, it's close well, now you have to buy one. Look at that. Yeah, you're right. Perrick, what's yeah. six? Okay. Stick this on your arm. It says G19 right there. Should we stick this on his arm or his leg? Yeah, you're good to go, Joe. His throat? His Can't breathe. Thank you. So is he just going to like, is his arm going to fall off, hopefully? No, we'll just oh. keep it on. No, it's meant normal. for when it does fall off. Yeah, so if you were to get shot down here, we'd just stick this sucker on just like this. And he'd wrap it on just like that. See? Okay. And then you put it in there. His arm is for sure gone. Oh, 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 okay. Hold on. Oh, you're, you're you gotta stop the bleeding. You look so jacked oh, right now. Oh, okay. Look at okay. That vein no, pop. You gotta stop the bleeding. There it is. You gotta stop the bleeding. <laughs> now the bleeding is about to stop. So hold on. Oh, you gotta man. stay patient. Okay. Okay. You just cut your stay main artery. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Stay no, 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 no. You see? <laughs> wow. It's good. <laughs> Now there will be no blood that will ever come off of right here. This is yeah. a really good tourniquet, okay. actually. We should, yeah. we should definitely take this off. Is it too tight? We should yeah. definitely take this off. Is it stopping the blood flow? Oh, so oh yeah, bad. for sure. Oh. <laughs> His arm is toast. I want to see you get pink. Just like, I can feel like the blood just in my head. Wow. So it works. We, oh. should, de we should definitely... Oh my gosh. Ouch. <laughs> we should definitely keep that just in case. So, yeah. Gets, uh, you're ever wondering how tourniquets work? Yeah, you stick them above the wow. wound. You tighten it down. You wow. twist the sucker. Put it in there. Oh, and then you do this. Cool. Then you take a mark and you write the time on there. Because you only keep it on there for so long before the arm comes off and you're in the <laughs> extremity. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Minor details. I mean, Honestly, like your head just like could feel the blood like just rushing to every other part of your body except your arm. That is Whoa. bright. Is that is freaking bright. Is it? Where's it attached to? Nothing. You just hold uh, it. Keychain. Oh, Actually, I see. your purse. Blinding me. I'm really cool. glad. It's kind of like it's kind of like a this mace is, for flare. Here, you know, somebody flare. I don't know. I don't know who sent this. Uh, I can't see now that flashlight. Yeah. Would you? Oh, nice. Would love some Guggen based. So whatever. Ha we. I feel like we talked a little bit about that. Um. Oh heck. About yeah. MLF. We never really talked about like. 
I don't know. Actually, Flair, when you were talking about MLF, I was totally zoning out. Yeah, no, that's fine. I feel like everybody was zoning <laughs> out. Uh, <laughs> Noah Matthews, I got your baits, homie. Just want to say thanks. He sent me a what bunch of stuff. Uh, but, uh, so we get into the MLF. Okay, I mean, yeah. I just said why it was good. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's low entry fees, high payouts. Um, and beforehand, it was su- extremely high entry fees and the payouts. Unless you're in the top like three, you're like barely breaking even, which was I, I believe just I read BS. This, I believe I read this is if every single tournament for MLF, even like the the small ones, like the regular season, is as much as the Bass Master Classic. Yeah, which is like hundred, is hundreds crazy. of thousands of dollars per event. So that's the way it should have been. And the, the, en- time. And the entry Pay fees are like more, nothing. Yeah, more like golf. Yeah, yeah. It, it shouldn't have ever been like oh. No, it hey. shouldn't have got to this point, but. There was people that had a monopoly on it and got to do whatever they want. I mean, I know. When I came into this industry, the first thing I saw was like, oh, wow, the tournaments are really screwing over the angler. This is stupid. Yeah. We've talked, guys, we've talked about it for years. I mean, throughing videos and stuff. It's not the word. I had the idea to kind of like do something, but I'm glad that MLF, you know, they obviously stepped up and did it. They have some money and they have some some people backing them that can support something like that. So it's pretty cool. I can support something like that. Yeah, you can? I think it's coming back. Rob's got this. Don't worry, guys. I can support if they're they're for the angler, yes. Oh, I thought you... We were talking about financial backing. I thought you could financially support that. I I mean, you and Johnny are probably pretty close, but... No, I would not mean that. Hey, thanks, Um, Tyson, for the drawing, man. We're going to sign your postcard and send it back to you. This is pretty cool. This is for you, Rob. A group of firemen from Michigan started a uh, shirt design to help protect the people of our country. Um... His father served the country for 39 years. And, uh, yeah, let's, is there anywhere you could buy it? Oh, Instagram follow. His Instagram is x9126x. That's a great Instagram. Recommend name. changing that. There you go. Yeah, I would recommend but changing that. If you start a business, you probably not the best move. Shut up Shut up and train. There you go. Shut up and train. Shut up and train. Oh, nice. That's like that. ironic. That is ironic. <clears throat> Super ironic. That sounds interesting. Cool. What else we got, boys? So is that? I mean, that's basically what we got to talk about for the the bad yeah. stuff. I mean, there it's just go. it's just good stuff happening. We're, think, gonna be, we're, we're all we're all in favor of the change. Yeah. You guys want our opinion? Back in the like before two thousand seven eight days when bass uh, was going ham, oh, it was nice. on ESPN. ESPN yeah. two. For me, yeah. or is this I that's know, when it was that like was really rocking. Yeah, yeah I think we're cool. gonna get back to more of those days. Which yeah, where nice. it's more ma- more mainstream. I mean, think about like how many more competitors it, like. I feel like the field's gonna be so much more competitive now. That there's actual money to be made, like, you know, I don't know. I feel like it evens big, it out. Big just thing a is, bit. I don't think most people at home realize how how for all of us, how bad the, uh, the yeah actual no it's terrible. That's struggles. another thing too. Yeah, for no all the youngsters that. out there just, that I've tournament been fishing, to get into compet- tournament comp- fishing, yeah, is competition good. is awesome. But the way that they were set up prior is they couldn't make a dime. They were very, spending. Very hard. It was yeah. really it's hard, it was hard to make a living doing it. Yeah. And you have to have a family. You have to have kids. Just, I mean, just, yeah, one, it was one of the first dudes running the organization is making all the money. It's kind of starting to be more like golf, honestly. That's golf, cool. if it was like yeah. golf, I mean, there'd be a point to fish tournaments. Yeah, and it'd be yeah. It'd what be was cool. the tour champion? It grows for How much was the tour championship? Two, two million for the tournament, and then ten million for, the 10 million for, the 10 million for series. Ten million for the series. That is insane. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. Ten million dollars. And right now, it's like we get jacked over. Fishman get jacked over a hundred thousand dollar tournament. These guys are playing for like ten million. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Hell, video game players. Yeah. You want to talk about money? No. They make they make real money. Yeah. And how much are their entry fees? A zero. Oh. Yeah. See, yeah. I think that's oh, wow. Where Interesting. Bass fishermen have been. Just it's because the guys walked. on top have been screwing the guys on the. It's bottom. like you think about no this. No one has known it. In a sense, like you, like bass is has their advertisers that they that pay them to create these events. And then on the lower end, they still have the people that make the events possible, the competitors, the people competing, also paying them to participate in the event. So it's like, it's a one-sided relationship here. Like there's <laughs> no one, yeah. no one is making more money than Bass or I guess FLW and that's like those two the, guys. The league. It's the just league. the, the status league. quo. Yeah. It's like, yeah. all right. Like it's like they're taking advantage of something they shouldn't be taking advantage of. And that also yeah. is probably deterring a lot of other people from competing in the event. Like, think about how many anglers out there want to compete who are probably really good, who want to do it but can't afford What's it. What's the first thing that we always read? Well, we don't have a boat. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't I don't have have a boat. Have a I can't boat. afford a boat. Can't afford yeah. a boat. I can't, can't afford, afford my entry fees. Can't afford my gas. Well, can't afford you, my you food. remember the days? Hours. Remember when they were like people would go to like the FLW events and they would be given boats. Like it yeah. was like Kellogg's would have a boat that could be used yeah. by whoever. Yeah. Like well, it was like the top, the top twenty. Yeah, like, and they, guess, but like they don't bring their own boats. Like their boats are provided. And guess who got? That guess who got paid? No, no, it was just the top. You get mean this. for the college? No, get this, no, for the college. But for FLW back in the yeah. day, this was crazy. You had to bring your own boat with all your own sponsors, right? Yeah. 
and then and when you got the top, the top 20, yeah. you had to okay. leave your yeah. boat yeah. and leave get in boat. their boat and not promote the people that were yeah. paying right. you. Exactly. You, had to, yeah. promote, you yeah. had to promote the people that were paying the top guys. Yeah. So yeah. You, you would get into Bass's advertised boat so that they can make more money while you fish and you're still not make you're you're literally on a, a billboard you're on you're floating on a billboard you're promoting someone else's company that you have no affiliation with who is then i just like that concept to me is like crazy it's like if it's a like baseball if you were wearing, player like, had to a go toys pay R, to play. A, rip toys r us but if you were in a toys <laughs> r us or something like that and you made no money off of it but the guy who told you to put the shirt on is making money and you're paying the guy who told you to put the shirt on yeah, and you're paying the guy <laughs> that told you to put the toys r us shirt on yeah it's really that's a really dumbed down version of it but that's essentially what has been going on for how many years how many years has it been going 50. on and no one has said anything 50 years bass 50 has been doing it. freaking years yeah. Of course, the sport of bass fishing is sick. It's not it's what we're trying to do. new, though. And like, you growing, look at other yeah. sports. Yeah, we're not trying yeah. to, like, it's, say, like, you know, turn bass fishing. I know we've always poked and prodded it, but in a sense, we're more or less poking, poking and prodding at the big guys, the organization above the sport. Not football, but NFL. Not basketball, but NBA. And in this case, not bass fishing, turn bass fishing, but BASS. And honestly, there's I feel like that's world. happening in, like, I feel like the NFL right now, I don't know much about it, but there's also some weird stuff. It, ha- I mean, it happens It's everywhere. like organizations always sometimes don't take care of the players. But or this one, yeah. this, in this case, it's just, like, so bad. It's just so bad, bad yeah. yeah. So bad. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's why. It's going to be a big year for it next year. Yeah. That's what's It'll be interesting. Now. Honestly, I'm glad, I'm glad there's a change. I'm glad some people are stepping up and basically just forcing their way into yeah. it. I mean, they really did. They just came in and said... We're gonna run it this way, and everyone's gonna join, and yeah. we did. So. And it's like, dude, the same people when, like, I don't know. The main point being, if you're <laughs> wanting to get into tournament bass fishing, it's things are happening. It's better. Yeah. You've got a better, better opportunity now. Oh, it's I know exactly just got real. what that oh. is. It I saw something really the really hottest really tortilla it chip in the really world. Real. I saw, I saw the okay, skull so and crossbones. I know before exactly I get, this. I open this, and I just want to say thanks to David for giving us that cup. He's just about to try some free range coffee, which is actually sitting right there. Oh, nice. so, David, he said any of us, we'll just put that in our cabin. He said it's for anybody, but it's if you trout. want John, you can. That's have sick. I'll take it. No one wants it. Yeah, cost some trout. Go ahead and take it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay. How many is there? Gonna, gonna this is not we good. could we could use this for another video. This is not good. Yeah, this Love is not. Love your videos. Thank you for everything you do. Thought you guys could Hell do a two v two challenge or mm. loser eats. Mm. I think. Thanks for watching. It. I think we should do it right now. No, 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 no. Mm. Different no, video. Save it. No, save it. Yeah. Okay. Who sent this? Wow. Again? It's really nice too because it's like a nice chip. All you have to do is just eat the chip. It's, it's one, one chip. chip. It's oh, it's gonna chips. be bad. There's two chips. It says, it's gonna be so bad. Package, I've seen these. This is, it says the one chip challenge, world's hottest pepper. One chip equals death. Rob, I think Rob, Rob is needs nervous. To do it. Rob's pretty nervous. <laughs> no, it be for the hot wing challenge. Uh, yeah, this no, should be or, incorporated. Or we do some sort of challenge, like, and the losers have to have to eat it. Like That's, it's a good it's a good thing for a loser challenge. Can we just read some of the ingredients here, yeah. just to give a little yeah. uh, death. We'll pass it around. Or death. Little at notion, it. dude. If we do this for dodgeball, you guys are all getting destroyed. I will not lose. <laughs> this ship is so, it's crazy hot and not actually, far from fame of heat or summit. Good idea. Do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, Ghost allergic to pepper. peppers, nightshades, nice. or are pregnant or having medical conditions. <laughs> Keep out of reach of children. After touching the chip, wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or sensitive areas. Wow. Sensitive wow. areas. <laughs> like don't my nipples. Your... <laughs> like your... Don't, don't touch your nipples. Don't Ingredients. Ground corn, canola oil, reaper pepper, ghost pepper, chipotle pepper, mm. yeast Whoa. extract. Mm. Ghost pepper and how many other? Wow. Wow. There's like Dude, three or whoever, four others. Who sent that? That's... Yeah, I hate you, by the way. Honestly, I love you because this is, this is going to be funny. Whoever has to do it. <laughs> Greg, you know, it'll probably be you. Yeah, no, yeah. What's It'll this? probably be you. You guys wanted us Who's to send it? you challenge stuff, so here oh. we go. Well, thank oh, you. Yeah. yeah like thank that. you so much. <laughs> yeah. What are you whispering? Nothing, about? nothing. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what, what are you? What are you whispering? Nothing about? No, they're not whispering. It's all on microphone. We were talking in a normal pitch. We no, well, what's going on over no, there? They're definitely t- telling yeah. secrets. No they're secrets. Telling. Nope. They're planning something. Rob's oh, trying to get out of here. Maybe. I think that's what it is. I don't lose. Oh! Neither do I. Yeah, so. Everyone we're loses when you eat wings that yeah. are hot and then you yeah. eat those. Oh, so we're doing a sport. We're well, gonna... No, I'm talking about if you did it with a sport one. Sport one, you know. You would, you would probably be eating that. Well, we should do it. What's, okay. the, what's the bet, boys? Let's hear it right now. Yeah. Are we going to do, uh, are we gonna do basketball? Dodge- are we going to do dodgeball? Dodge- dodge- we should do dodgeball. Well, how do you do? How it do doesn't you... matter what, what sport it is. You're losing if you're playing this <laughs> It could be holding socks. Okay. You know what? Honestly, <laughs> I like you it. You definitely beat him at folding socks. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I, s- I think it should be dodgeball. I, okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Dodgeball. Okay. The dodgeball tournament. Okay. Loser. Except there's Frick, only yeah. two. So. Yeah. How does this work? Break it in half. I don't know. Okay. 
break it. Oh yeah, you have to break it. You have to break it in half. Yeah. It's like a four v four. Yep, that'd be chilled. Oh yeah, not chilled. Kendrick's eating it. Be unchilled. I just don't want to be on Kendrick's team. <laughs> I think this: whoever loses has to give the chip and donate it to Matt Kendrick. So yes. basically, yeah, whoever loses gives it to Matt, and then Matt. Eats Either it. way, you have to sample, just to make sure. <laughs> Either way, sure. you have to <laughs> sample. Yeah. But, oh well, we'll definitely save this for. Uh, the video we're gonna make today. Pass that over here. Okay, yeah. Who who sent that? Yeah, I might just, um, I might just go bury that in the backyard real quick. Greg, Greg, Nate Greg Dornel. thank you, Greg, for this mm. delicious ex- experience. That Greg, you're amazing. Yeah. Honestly, keep sending us stuff you guys want us to do in challenges because it's always we're nice don't. and easy. Um, we're don't. Yeah. We we we, don't, we haven't played the name game in a while, or where you have to you can't say a word, and that would be a good challenge for something like that too. So. Um, yep, Rob just wouldn't talk that podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah, last podcast when we did that, he just <laughs> won't say a word. Is that? This looks like some sports balls. Or paintballs. Or possibly some paintballs. Or is it actually? It says swag bag on the outside. So. Swag bag. Maybe this guy's starting up a company here. Oh yeah, here we go. GI you know how to use oh, yeah. okay. no, it's Oh, like, here we go. Those are paintballs. Oh, those are paintballs. Uh, it's just a, That's what I'm oh this, is, this is a paintball gift. From Mike and Travis, owners of PB Swag Bag. We are a subscription company for PayPal players. Inside is a three months worth of PB Swag Bags. Our subscription pays 37 bucks per month. Nice. That's kind of sick. Yeah. Here. Sick. Swag Bag. Open the Swag Bag, Rob. Please tell me it has a tournament jersey in here. Has a what? A tournament jersey. Oh, is this, this could this be our dodgeball jerseys? If it does, I will be so happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It does have a shirt, no jersey. What is that? Is that a flag or a jersey? Nice! Oh, it's got one of these things, these towels that I want to tell. This is, uh, oh, it's, um, Holy that's a big towel. it's a really big Q-tip. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty good. Look at the Oh, wow. Yes. wow. <laughs> Dude, you look like you've been you fishing serious? for mullet for years. <laughs> Down Are you serious? Wow. Hell yeah. yeah I got that. the best one. <laughs> look at this. Oh, that's yeah. That's great. Oh, I thought this was arm fun. Oh, yeah. These look funny. fun. Me and Flair just got... Charged. I'm just chilling Dude, over here. I've Don't worry. These, I've seen these promoted on Instagram awesome. like crazy. You ever seen the chick like sitting there with her glasses? She's like blenders eyewear. You guys not seen the blenders eyewear one? Can't say I have. Yeah. Well, those are so. those are ball. Oh, you're blending. <laughs> you are blending. Winning. <laughs> what you already know what it is. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's my elbow. Elbow <laughs> unit. You're, you're bringing air tag. It's my elbow. <laughs> yeah, it's probably for an air tank. Oh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Okay. Elbow guard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> AstroTurf, you have to do a power slide. <laughs> I, I usually lead with my right elbow. So <laughs> and that's it. That's all she wrote in a t-shirt. Oh, I got my gosh. That says, was fun. It says D-Y-E. Paintball. <laughs> oh, my God. Die. The name of these blenders I wear. Natty McNasty. <laughs> really? Natty McNasty. What do we got? What is that? Lunkers, bait and tackle. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, Rob, this is a little oh. message there for you. Lunkers, bait and tackle. Is that Throwback, says? classic? Yeah. That's awesome. That's, That's pretty cool. Lunkers He's got a note on there, too. Tackle. Look at that lure. Where can we find that one? Uh, open on camera. Open on camera. You, you know it. I've opened up the last three. I'm going to let you. All right. You're just in prime yeah. position. Yeah. Yeah. He's a retired deputy sheriff for 35 years. Holy crap. Really? Really, no. <laughs> you need to clean your stash. Greg, thank you so much, Greg Kotschkar. Kotschkar. He's from, oh, he's from you. Why, why so much he's from Nebraska. He's from really? you. <laughs> What's Nebraska his name? City. Oh, that's that's not super close. Well, where is he? What's so his you name? Know, you know what you his got name that is? There? I thought everyone in Nebraska Maybe? knows each other. Yeah. What's his name? Greg Kotschkar. No. Sorry. Nebraska, I thought it had a population of like 12. 12. It's like, oh, I think 12. it's, it's wow. up to like it's up to like 14. 12, but, including yeah. Mace here without nice including Mace. Oh, look at the lure. That's the lure I just pointed out, basically. What is that? Wait, what? Oh, what? It's like some sort of popping well, situation. Yeah, it, it literally looks just like the. Oh, oh, got a lot of things happening here. I'm just gonna. Please. Please sign. Okay, we got. Okay, we got sign and send it back. Yeah. Easy peasy. What's this bait? We have some art. We have art. All of the the squad. We have the squad. Have Where did that little art. note card go that uh, we signed? Very nice. Right. Oh, here's, uh, here's this is by card. Grant. Grant Gaines. Eric signed that. Eric looks like. Thank you, Grant. Looking very, very swell. And that is a sick bait. We have ourselves it? a handmade double bagged. Double bagged. Oh, bag. Triple bagged, actually. 
Minus the bubble wrap. Got a double bagger. Wow. Or is that not is the that bubble wrap? Oh, that thing is sick. This is a oh, hot cool. glue. It's a hot glue lure. A hot glue lure. Get hot it. Hot glue lure, yeah. Woo! <laughs> He got way right, too excited really about that. Kick out of that one. I got. I went a little too excited there. Here's uh, okay. here, this guy. Says, hey, post just, on YouTube. What is this? this note and this hat. Here, turn, here, this is for you, Rob. Grant's twelve. Turner he's from seed. Oklahoma. Turner's Turner Turner seed. He he's says, he's been killing it. This is a cool season food plot, so I would wait until after Labor Day. If you would like to bow hunt it, go ahead and plant around September first, but it will be danger of burning up. Danger of burning up. Of being hot. Oh. You, like it, for it to not grow, oh. something to grow. Well, it's past September first, so we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want, there's like he said, there's like fifty bags or something. Fifty Pounds. bags. Fifty pounds. Oh yeah, fifty, 50 pounds. pounds per acre. Fifty pounds per acre. Sorry. Cool. There so, you go. Uh, you got like uh, three acres or four acres worth of seed out there. Good. There you go. There you start, go. Wow. Start nice. your crops. All right. Then we got what do we Grant get? says John B is his favorite, <laughs> mm. but he loves all the guys. Oh, okay. He's also <laughs> sponsored by favorite and Woo Tungsten. <laughs> Woo. Um, Woo. So he's Woo. please sign the thing and Woo um, tungsten. Go catch some fish on this. I want to touch hot that. Glue. So can I touch that? Yeah, it's yeah, here, here, hang on, hang on. Let me see It's not hot. It's cooled down. Don't worry. Right oh, it's still not hot. I was gonna say I was curious. Let's see wait. if it's still warm. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish we all had one of those. <laughs> we need to dress up like we wow. did for the basketball. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you look Honestly, like though, way better, better on Paris. You, like? you look like Kip from uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, after yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Napoleon, you just don't understand. <laughs> Me and Lafonda have a connection. Lafonda is the best thing that's ever happened. John, you want to open up that last one? Which one? This one? Is, oh, I need that. This one? Yeah. Oh, it's dead? Okay. Also, I, 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 we got one more. We got one more. An exciting event a that grand was grand finale. Story. Yeah, we put uh, the catfish. Demolish the crayfish. It says Alex Berg. Oh, it says me. ASMR. I was just going to say, is that what we're doing ASMR right now or what? Oh, snap. We got the hookup. He said straight hooks in there. I, I'm sure the male, dude, the male ladies love us. <laughs> they pick up our package and they're like, I don't, I don't know if I can get, oh, I see something I like. One dollar popper. One dollar popper, spinner bait. Nice. What else we have in here? Mm -hmm. Some soft plastics <laughs> connected to a hook. <laughs> here we go. Everybody wants kung fu fighting. Let's read the pe let's read the note. <laughs> Jeez, <a> peace. <laughs> okay. Okay. This beautiful package is from Lance. Dear Peric, I like your show. Oh, that is, uh, <laughs> Show. I like your show. I always had a dream to become. Yeah, thank you. You, I uh, love to fish a lot. Your Are friend, you? plants. Let's go, spell friend. Your 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 friend. Lance. You know, thank you so much for the stuff. I'm sure we'll be able to use that once the water kind of slows down here in Texas because we were actually supposed to go to a body of water tomorrow, slows and uh, we were told that it's uh, flooding over the dam. Slows so. Down. We'll be doing some fishing until uh, probably next month, but I'll definitely use those lures. And thanks, man. Who yeah. wants what? The oh, water slows down. I want the popper. I'm gonna use this to wipe my butt. He's gonna use that to flare. You get the splinter bite because you can throw beds. In oh yeah, I'll take <laughs> it. <laughs> I'll take a jerk. Yeah, that was take, about take to the lip. It's, it's, it's a white bass killer. Both of these. Bass killer. It's also an LFG code. <laughs> All right. Well, that that's gonna do it for today's Guggen Cast. Thank you guys so much for. Joining us, you beautiful people out there. We will catch you guys next time on the next hey. cast. Stay safe, catch fish, and peace out.